Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Ulf Barbin is a book that discusses the principles of leadership and how they can be applied to achieve success in any field. The book is based on the author's experiences as Navy SEALs and their work as consultants for various companies. The authors argue that the key to success is taking ownership of everything that happens under your watch including mistakes and failures. This summary will provide a detailed overview of the book and its main principles. Section 1, Extreme Ownership. The first section of the book discusses the concept of extreme ownership. The authors argue that leaders must take full responsibility for everything that happens under their watch even if they are not directly responsible for it. They use their experiences as Navy SEALs to illustrate this principle. For example, they describe a mission where their team was tasked with securing a building, but the plan failed because they underestimated the number of enemy combatants. Rather than blaming their superiors or the intelligence they were given, the authors took ownership of the failure and adjusted their plan accordingly. The authors also provide examples from the business world to illustrate the importance of extreme ownership. They describe a situation where a sales team failed to meet their targets, and the manager blamed the market conditions and the quality of the product. However, the authors argue that the manager should have taken ownership of the failure and looked for ways to improve the product and the sales strategy. Section 2. No Bad Teams only bad leaders. The second section of the book discusses the principle that there are no bad teams, only bad leaders. The authors argue that it is the leader's responsibility to build a strong team and to provide the necessary training and resources to achieve success. They emphasize the importance of setting clear goals and expectations and providing constant feedback to ensure that the team is on track. The authors use their experiences as Navy SEALs to illustrate this principle. They describe a situation where their team was assigned to train a group of Iraqi soldiers. The Iraqi soldiers lacked the necessary equipment and training, and the authors initially blamed the soldiers for their lack of motivation. However, they soon realized that they were the ones responsible for providing the necessary training and resources to build a strong team. The authors also provide examples from the business world to illustrate the importance of building a strong team. They describe a situation where a company was struggling to meet its targets, and the CEO blamed the employees for their lack of motivation. However, the authors argue that the CEO should have taken ownership of the failure and looked for ways to build a strong team and provide the necessary training and resources. Section 3, Believe. The third section of the book discusses the principle of belief. The authors argue that leaders must believe in themselves and their team in order to achieve success. They emphasize the importance of having a clear vision and communicating that vision effectively to the team. They also emphasize the importance of staying focused on the mission and not getting distracted by setbacks or failures. The authors use their experiences as Navy SEALs to illustrate this principle. They describe a situation where their team was tasked with taking out a high-value target. The mission was difficult, and the team faced numerous setbacks. However, the authors did not lose faith in themselves or their team, and they ultimately achieved their objective. The authors also provide examples from the business world to illustrate the importance of belief. They describe a situation where a company was facing financial difficulties, and the CEO was considering layoffs. However, the authors argue that the CEO should have maintained belief in the company and its employees and looked for ways to turn the situation around. Section 4, Check the Ego. The fourth section of the book discusses the principle of checking the ego. The authors argue that leaders must be willing to admit their mistakes and learn from them. They emphasize the importance of humility and the willingness to listen to feedback from others. They also emphasize the importance of being open-minded and willing to consider different perspectives. The authors use their experiences as Navy SEALs to illustrate this principle. They describe a situation where their team was tasked with securing a building, but they failed to take into account the possibility of a secondary entrance. When the mistake was pointed out to them, the authors did not let their egos get in the way, and they adjusted their plan accordingly. The authors also provide examples from the business world to illustrate the importance of checking the ego. They describe a situation where a CEO refused to listen to feedback from his employees and ultimately made a costly mistake. However, 
The authors argue that the CEO should have been willing to admit his mistake and learn from it. Conclusion In conclusion, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Ulf Barbin is a book that provides valuable insights into the principles of leadership. The authors use their experiences as Navy SEALs and their work as consultants to illustrate these principles and provide examples from both the military and the business world. The book emphasizes the importance of taking ownership of everything that happens under your watch, building a strong team, maintaining belief in yourself and your team and checking the ego. This book is a must read for anyone interested in leadership and management and provides valuable lessons that can be applied to any field.